Has someone ever told you that you have no personality? What does that even mean? Is that really possible? Having no personality isn't really possible, but it is absolutely possible that you are suppressing your personality and not letting it shine through. Everyone has their own personality, including you. Your personality is the sum of your experiences over your lifetime. The things you like and don't like, foods you prefer and don't prefer, and the music genres that you favor, all of which make up your personality. Psychology researchers Fayard and colleagues gave the answer in a study published in the Journal of Research and Personality. In that research, an individual may simply interpret it as negative and not a compliment at all. Nevertheless, the term does seem ambiguous. Does it mean you have no interests and hobbies, or that you're a person with few words? To begin, the researchers asked 104 study participants to explain the difference between having no personality and having a lot of personality in an open-ended writing exercise. More than half of the respondents in the study described having no personality as boring, using the words bland, dull, or lacking charisma. A lot of personality, on the other hand, refers to sociable, energetic, and emotionally expressive people. They're described as being likable, bubbly, and confident. Stay tuned until the end as we explore the reasons why you feel you have no personality and what you can do to develop a personality. Team Low Self-Esteem According to psychiatrist Dr. Alok Kanojia in his video, Therapist Reacts, I am too boring for other people. Feeling like you have no personality is linked to low self-worth, also known as self-esteem. In an article published in Psychology Today, researchers Davis and colleagues explained that low self-esteem results in an unfavorable view of oneself. These individuals tend to be self-critical and often get sucked into negative self-talk, saying things like, I'm worthless, I have no personality, I'm not interesting enough. How do you feel about yourself? Does this point sound pretty similar to your inner monologue? This could be a reason why you feel you don't have a personality, but don't worry, it's definitely there. Stone-faced Let's say you break up with your partner after a heated argument. The next day, you have an important exam to take, so you decide to take a deep breath, suppress your sadness, and pretend it never happened. A group of researchers led by Michaela hebler rager found that our personalities are decided by our primary emotions. Fear, care, anger, seeking, play, and sadness. When we don't show these emotions, we don't allow these emotions and actions to shape our personality. So, by suppressing your emotions, you're suppressing your personality. On the contrary, your authenticity is apparent when you express your emotion. You allow others to connect with you on a deeper level, and thus you will be likable and perceived as having a personality. Cater to the masses. Pictured this. You are on a first date with your longtime crush at a burger restaurant. He asks you whether you want to try the sourdough pickles. But here's the catch. You don't like pickles. Instead of saying no, you become agreeable and say you like pickles and want to try them. A study written by psychology researchers Jennifer Fayard and colleagues reported that about a third of the respondents described people with no personality as those who don't stand out or don't hold any strong opinions or preferences. Counselor and psychotherapist Adele Wilde states that you thrive mentally and physically when you receive attention through recognition, understanding, and acceptance. However, in many cases, this desire for acceptance is accompanied by a fear of being rejected and not understood. When this fear outweighs your need for attention, you conceal your true self from showing. That desire to be accepted and validated causes you to transform yourself into whatever the other person wants you to become. You are always conforming to what other people want. Therefore, your true personality never emerges. Can you relate to the reasons stated so far? You may wonder what you can do if you feel that you have no personality. With that said, here are three solutions. Build confidence and self-esteem. In the video How to Build Confidence from Within, psychiatrist Dr. Alec Kanogia says you need to sit and think on who you are 
and why you feel the way you do about yourself. This can lead to self-discovery about why your self-esteem is low and what your true core values are. This can help strip away old beliefs or even toxic thoughts passed on in your earlier years. Self-doubt can become an obstacle in building your personality. Therefore, to assist you in building your self-esteem, make a list of 10 things you appreciate about your life and 10 things you are grateful for. Who am I? Knowing yourself better is the focal point in understanding your personality and can increase self-esteem. Psychologist Seymour Epstein explains our self-concept consists of our material self, our body size, shape, appearance, intrapersonal self, our emotions, needs, values, opinions, and interpersonal self, how others see us. Learning more about each of these categories can help you increase your self-confidence and self-esteem. Don't chit, just the chat. Listen to these two questions. Can you spot the difference? Question 1. What did you do in school today? Question 2. What is your favorite part of your day at school today? Psychologist Jonas Webb describes the first question as a horizontal question, which is a close-ended question that provides facts and information. The second question is known as a vertical question, which encourages the person you're speaking with to reflect and examine their response more deeply. This makes your conversation more interesting and satisfying. There is plenty of room for you to develop your personality, as you already have a foundation. Your main problem is that you might not be aware that you already have it, so your first step will be to find out what you're all about. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share with friends. Until next time, thanks for watching!